Hi, today we are learning about the human heart. What is human heart? What is the size of the human heart? How it is functioning? Let us study about that one. The human heart is made up of a kind of muscle that is called the cardiac muscle. The human heart, the size of the heart is of its own fist. If you fold your fingers like this, this is called the fist. The person who is holding that one, the same size of the heart according to that. Now here, once if we observe the heart, how the heart is applying the blood to all parts of the body, how it is collecting the blood from different parts of the body. Let us go very deeply into that one. Now here, there are two types of major blood vessels which are present. Those are called the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. What is superior vena cava? That means the deoxygenated blood which is present in the head, shoulder and everything which is collected by the superior vena cava. What is inferior vena cava? Inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from rest all the parts of the body other than the head and shoulder. Both are coming here and when superior vena cava and inferior vena cava both after collecting the deoxygenated blood, then slowly it enters into the right auricle. The right auricle and the left auricle, these two are very important where it is collecting the blood. How it is collecting? Now, just we we'll see. Now, this is superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Now, coming to the heart. Once if you observe the heart, the outside of the heart, we can see four groove like structures over that one. With that one, we can see that heart is internally divided into four chambers. Chamber means here a small part of the portion is called the chamber. Now, once if you see that heart four chambers, the upper two chambers are called the auricles and the lower two chambers are called the ventricles. Right auricle, left auricle right ventricle, left ventricle. Now, how it is functioning? Let us go through that one. Now, here as the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava collect the deoxygenated blood, immediately the right auricles also collect deoxygenated blood. As soon as the deoxygenated blood enters into the right auricle, here we can see the tricuspid wall. What is the main role of the tricuspid wall? It allows the valve means it allows only one direction. Here, it prevents the blood either from the ventricle to auricle or auricle to ventricle. Only valves are one of the important one which is allowing the deoxygenated blood into the ventricle. Now, as the deoxygenated blood enters into the right auricle, whenever the heart is contacting from the auricles to ventricles, it moves through the tricuspid wall. Right ventricles receive the deoxygenated blood through the tricuspid wall. As soon as the deoxygenated blood enters into the right ventricle, the, whenever the heart is contracting, at that moment the deoxygenated blood pushes through the pulmonary arteries, so it enters into the two lungs, right lung and left lung. As soon as it enters into the lungs, lungs are one of the important one where the exchange of gases takes place. Only it absorbs the carbon dioxide to eliminate out of that one and it supplies the oxygen to the blood to the heart. Now, from the lungs, again it enters into the left auricle. As soon as the left auricle receives the oxygenated blood, again there are two types of contraction. One is auricle contact, secondly ventricle contracts. When auricles are contracting, at that moment through the bicuspid wall, the oxygenated blood enters into the ventricles. As the oxygenated blood enters into the ventricles, when the ventricles are contracting through the pulmonary vein, it enters into the all parts of the body. Here, once if you see this one, the upper part of the heart is called the auricles, lower part of the heart is called the ventricles, two chambers. Now, pulmonary auricles receive the deoxygenated blood, right ventricle receives the deoxygenated blood. When the ventricles are contracting, it is supplying the blood to the lungs. From the lungs, left auricle receives the oxygenated blood. From the bicuspid wall, left ventricle receives the oxygenated blood and it is supplied to all parts of the body. This is one step. Second step, 
there are three stages in the heartbeat. What are these three, three stages here? First auricle contacts, second ventricle contacts, both relax at time. So, contraction of the auricles, contraction of the ventricles, relax. Whenever the auricles are contracting, either deoxygenated blood enters into the ventricles, oxygenated blood from the left auricle enters into the left ventricle. When ventricles are contracting, at that moment the valves does not allow the blood into the auricles. Here, the left ventricle oxygenated blood supply and the right ventricle supply the blood to the lungs. This is the three stages of the heartbeat. Now, once if you observe the heart, the outside of the heart, a kind of layer which is present that is called the pericardial layer. Pericardial layer, what is that pericardial? That means, first of all the heart is made up of a kind of muscle that is called the cardiac muscle. That means, it is not very soft or it is not very hot just like bone. So, in this pericardial layer and the heart, there is a fluid like that one which is present in pericardial fluid. What is the main role of the pericardial fluid? That means, here whenever we are moving, whenever we are running, whenever the physical shock takes place, at that moment a kind of pressure also will not fall on the heart. The pace of the heart, it continues it beating. So, the pericardial fluid which is present in the heart, it controls the pressure and everything to normal function of the blood. And here, the chambers which are divided, suppose for example, if we take auricles, a partition like that one which is present between the auricles are called the septum. Septum means what? A wall like structure. Why it is called the wall like structure? Because it is protecting or it is preventing. This is called the, the wall like structure which is present between the auricles is called the auricular septum. And the wall like structure which is present between the ventricles is called the ventricular septum. And a wall like structure which is present between the auricle and ventricle is called the auriculo ventricular septum. This is the internal structure of the heart. So, the major first of all we have to find out the heart is divided into four, four chambers means by looking from outside only by groove like structures we can see this one. Now, for example, if you see auricles are supplying the deoxygenated blood to the ventricles but it is not working very hard. And once if it is a look at this right ventricle, it is pumping the blood to only to the lungs, right. This is a limited work. Once if you see the left auricle, the oxygenated blood it is supplying to this only left ventricle, it is not doing much work. But a left ventricle, what is the role of that one? It has to supply the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. Once if you compare to the four chambers of that one, left ventricle is working very hard. Why it is? Because it is supplying the blood to all parts of the body. As it is supplying, as it is working very hard, the muscle of the left ventricle is very thicker than when you compare to the other three chambers. So, this is the internal structure of the human heart.